given the choices about that moment in life when we have to decide whether we want a family. For my character, Marion, the choice is complicated. She's a sassy businesswoman who runs a successful promotion agency. The trouble is her husband's desperate to start a family. Marion is like a female Svengali, expressing her creativity through other people. She's intelligent and generous, but also resorts to lying when the odds seem stacked up against her. Music is very important in the novel. Marion meets a young pianist she thinks of representing, and he threatens to take her in a different direction. Here she is, listening to him play a piece inspired by birdsong. Within moments, she was transported out of her surroundings into a dense jungle of sound. The piano was no longer a music-making machine, but the source of a magical power. She could hear the swooping calls of birds as they darted through treetops or skimmed and dived in a free expanse of air. The bare walls of the practice room metamorphosed into an enchanted forest, teeming with flashes of brilliant plumage and abrupt, raucous cores. One of the great things about being a novelist these days is that you can find the answer to almost anything simply by typing it into Google. For given the choice, I went on a 3D tour of the Estonian capital Tallinn, and I now know a great deal more than I did about black diamonds. I even took a few online cookery courses, though I've yet to get a cake to rise like Mary Berry. Another very important character is the painter Jean-Claude. They have a difficult relationship. Here is Jean-Claude, the night before an exhibition, looking across the Hudson River towards Manhattan. The city was an enchantment conjured by a magician from the sea. The glittering jetters stuck out from the shore like aftersorts. Its brilliance derived from the checkerboards of lit-up windows, forming the facade of building after building. Light hurled itself upwards into the sky, leaked onto the surface of the water, where it settled in channels solid enough to walk on. One of the unusual features about Given the Choice is that it gives the reader the choice between three possible outcomes. As a novelist, I had great fun making up those three different endings. Mm -hmm.